We're doing comedy at a church. Like, like how's this gonna work out, really? I mean, some people are like, I just came to see this thing explode. <laughs> What's so amazing about doing comedy at church, when I was a kid, laughing at church was illegal. You couldn't laugh at church. I remember one time laughing at church because this lady was jumping around and her wig fell off. So, that stuff was funny. Her wig fell off and then my I laughed, my grandmother would pinch and twist. I can understand a pinch. You gonna twist? That's the devil. Dude on stage is mad at everybody. I can't figure out why he's so angry. Seven years old, I figured out why he was so angry. He was angry because he had some phlegm caught in his throat. So at the end of every sentence, he tried to get it out. He'd be like, the Lord said, ah. act like you ah. I'm like, Grandma, he need to gargle, Grandma. I'm seven years old, man. Church lasts six hours, too. Then we go in the basement and eat a sandwich and come back up. I'm like, what was that, a halftime or something? Actually, I'm gonna be real with you. There's enough black people here. It was always chicken. Why do we always gotta eat chicken? <laughs> Every single time. I know, I, I had to tell them. I'm sorry, it was, we at church, you know? In tuna. At the end of church, they would ask us, they'd always be like, so you wanna go? After this, we all gonna go to the sister church. I don't even like the brother church. One time I get to church, seven years old, there's a dead body in the front. It's a funeral. Nobody explains that to a seven-year-old Michael Jr. I'm thinking that's how they roll. <laughs> like every three weeks or so, they bring a dead body in as an example or something. <laughs> and the dude on stage yell at everybody in the audience like they the ones that did it. I remember asking my grandmother, I'm looking for some explanation. I'm like, Grandma, what happened to the man in the box? What happened to the man in the box? Her whole explanation was, he in a better place. I'm like, what kind of box did he live in before? Dude on stage said, he went to see the king. That was his whole explanation. He went to see the king. Ha. I don't understand what that meant. They didn't even call the kids' choir up to sing. I was in the kids' choir, not because I wanted to be in the kids' choir. I was in the kids' choir because I was a kid. <laughs> and it was a requirement. Now, what song we got to sing? Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. <laughs> I don't want to see the king. Oh, was he the king? You ever go to a funeral and people always talking about the person in the box like they sure he going to heaven? <laughs> and then they tell you, that they, and then the people get up there, they always talking about him. And the last thing you know, like the dude stabbed three people and he never prayed one time in his life. And all of a sudden, everybody, like, he's going to heaven. He's like, I'm sure Uncle John is looking down at me right now, and he's, a little tear is going down his eye. I'm like, he's probably looking up at you right now. <laughs> Listen, that's a sweat bead is what it is, a sweat bead rolling over. I just made that up right now. I just made that up.